Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Tuesday, October 26th. A uh, really nice green day today for me, $4,050, mostly thanks to Tesla. Uh, let's go through these, I'll show you what happened. Uh, two mighty 90s, one in AMD for plus 255, one in Microsoft for plus 60. On the runners, uh, Zoom minus 150, had a nice winner in Airbnb for plus 551, Apple minus 260, Netflix minus 510, Twitter minus 160, Uber minus 375, and then my big winner, Tesla, plus 3,735. So let's go to these. Let's start with the mighty 90s. AMD. So AMD was, was pushing lower, had this nice little pop in volume right into a key level, got long here and caught that run there. The only thing I wish I would have done different here, right when I got out of my last piece, I was like, you know what? I should have probably held one. And sure enough, this thing really ripped up just after that. So, but still a nice winner, plus 255. Uh, Microsoft was a small winner, plus 60. So Microsoft was uh, right after AMD. It was pushing down, had some volume pop and I waited till here. So I got in right here or maybe it was even this one. Yeah, it was actually this one. And I just, I caught this little bounce. It looked like it was having problems getting through that level. So after this uh, second little green bar here, I just cut out and booked a small profit. On to the runners. First one in Zoom. So this is a little bit later in the morning. Zoom, um, Zoom came down or it had, Zoom had been strong, and then so when it pulled back here, I got long looking for another bounce, kind of bounced down into the top of its previous highs. So I was looking for a bounce, and it just kind of started to bounce, rolled over, started to bounce, and then when it rolled over here, I just cut out and took a loss. Uh, Airbnb plus 551, so this is a nice trade. Uh, this one was, uh, I'm classified it as a runner because that's how I managed it. I got in based on a little bit of a mighty 90 setup, had this had this push lower right into yesterday's high, had a little bit higher volume, and that's where I entered. Got long right here, caught this move up, held on to one contract, got out of everything except for one right there near the top. Uh, took some heat here. I was thinking about adding again, but I didn't, uh, and bounced up. So when, when it got back up to the highs of the day, I just cut out of my last piece, booked a nice profit, plus 551. Uh, Apple minus 260. So in Apple, yeah, yeah, this is a, one of my first trades. Big volume runner on that second bar. So when it pulled back, I was looking for a continuation higher. This thing just kind of bled lower, lower, lower. And I was hoping we'd get a bounce there. When it broke here, I just ended up cutting out. So it took a loss on Apple. Uh, Netflix, another loser. This one. Uh, this it looked really strong. It, it was it was hovering right at all time highs, which it hit yesterday, and so when it dipped down here and then fired back up like that on the same candle, I, I got long looking for a continuation higher, and this thing just pushed down. So I ended up cutting out of it, taking a loss there. Uh, Twitter, tweeter, tweeter, tweeter. This was another one of my uh, early morning trades. Uh, had this it initially started down and went into the red briefly and then just shot right up with massive volume. So when it pulled back a little bit, I got long looking for a continuation higher and that didn't happen, just kind of bled lower. So I ended up cutting out, taking a small loss there, minus 160 on that trade. Uh, Uber, this is one of my later morning trades. Uh, we we're uh, sitting there and all of a sudden we had this big spike in volume. So when it pulled back to this pivot, that would catch a bounce. Started to, in fact, I was pretty close to getting out of half of my contracts if it would have bounced a little bit higher, but then it just rolled over. So I ended up cutting out and taking a loss on that one. And then lastly, Tesla. Uh, this was this was just a, a massive, uh, massive uh, win for me. And I mean, part of it was because of the size I used, no doubt. But uh, I mean, this thing just really started flushing and got some really nice spikes in volume. I mean, we were right at 10 a.m., which is kind of our cutoff for the Mighty 90. Uh, but the way that it was flushing and the way the volume was acting, uh, I just waited for it to get down to yesterday's high there, caught a bounce here, and literally that move right there uh, got out of half. In fact, 
Let me just bring this over. I can kind of give you, this gives you a better time. So this is where we post our trade. So got in at 10.05 with that first one, got out of half, still 10.05. Uh, so literally just a quick bounce, uh, bottom for 31 and a half, sold half. Uh, so I bought four, sold half at 35, uh, came back down, added, added, uh, at 10 Oh eight, uh, bought, bought two more for 26, uh, closed half of those at 30, literally three minutes later, uh, two minutes later, closed another quarter, uh, and then, uh, closed those at 10, 12. And then I turned around at five minutes later at 10, 17, uh, bought some more at Bought four more at twenty six ninety. Closed two of those at thirty. Closed one at thirty twenty five, and then closed them all out at ten twenty four. So, between ten o five and ten twenty four, uh, I was literally just playing these bounces here. Boom, 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 and out. So, kind of a crazy trade. Obviously, you know the the size had a lot to do with that, but the price action too. I mean, that that's that's what really was giving me the confidence of getting in with some, with some size at a key level with this pop in volume, with that quick flush. Uh, so didn't really give me much of a move. I mean, if I would have booked a lot more, had this thing actually bounced and continued back higher, but, uh, nonetheless, um, book some quick profits in Tesla to put me at, uh, 4,050, uh, total profit on the day. So Good stuff. Um, we did talk about in the community this morning. So we, we a couple of weeks ago, we released our new strategy, the navigation trend trading that we're primarily using for longer duration swing trades, you know, several days to, to a couple of weeks. But you can also use it for day trading. So once a week, I haven't decided when, but once a week, we are going to trade exclusively the NTT setups in uh, in our day trading as well. So probably sometime next week, maybe, maybe even this week, but, uh, regardless, I will post in the community, kind of giving you a heads up when that's going to happen. Look forward to seeing everybody in the live stream the rest of this week. See you then.